He was an undrafted free agent in 2018, played in the CFL in 2019, and then secured a spot on the Raiders 53-man roster in 2020. Kendall Vickers, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You have had quite the journey to get here. How does it feel to finally make it all the way to the NFL and play in NFL games? Oh, it feels good. Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of persistence. Um, you know, just by the grace of God, I was able to be here with, you know, hard work, like I said, and be able to secure that spot. And coaches and teammates helped me along the way, so. That's very cool, indeed. And you played in the CFL last year. How big is the difference between the two leagues? Um, it's different. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same and different at the same time. You know, the rules are different. Um, it's still football at the end of the day. But um, especially me being a, a defensive lineman, uh, being a yard off the ball in the CFL is definitely something you have to get used to up there. So, Very interesting that you've had the ability to play in both and successful in both. And we could call you old reliable because one of your strengths, Kendall, is reliability. You played in every single game in the three years you started at Tennessee. What do you attribute your dur durability to? Um... At an early age, I was just taught to take care of my body. Um, mm. You know, cold tubs, hot tubs, normal takes, you know, um, all the nicks and, and bruises that you have throughout the season really catches up to you at the end. So I try to stay on top of those things. And um, at a young age, like I said before, I, I was I was taught to really stay on top of that. So um, I kind of took that into the CFL and to the, you know, now the NFL. So um, I'm doing a good job with it. Yeah, you are. Absolutely. And you know, the Raiders are coming off an uncharacteristic loss uh, like this weekend. How challenging for the team do you believe it was to get over that loss and move forward as you, of course, prepare for another matchup in week 13 against a team on the East Coast? Well, yeah, the Falcons are a good team. Mm -hmm. um, I know the record, you know, wouldn't show it at the time, but they're a good team. They have really good players, and um, we just have to come out with, with that energy that we come out uh, with with the Chiefs and, you know, other other teams like the Saints and stuff like that. Um, we just got to go in and with the same energy and the same mentality that every week uh, is another another stepping stone to where we want to go to. So um, I think we watch the film, fix the mistakes and, and focus with uh, we got focus on New York now. So um, that's a really good thing about the NFL is that it's a week to week league. Absolutely. And one of the things that we noticed, obviously, with the Chiefs, you guys came out uh, firing on all cylinders, lost by only four points. And a lot was made about the practice this week. Did you notice any energy that might have been different heading into last week? And is that something that you believe makes an impact on game day? Uh, definitely. Practice definitely helps, um, mm -hmm. especially when you have all your guys out there getting reps, getting them prepared for whoever you're about to play. Um, I know this week we, we were in pads today. Um, I think that helped with just the, the physicality of everything. Um, and now tomorrow we can go in and do our Fast Friday and really uh, just make sure we're on our key details and stuff like that and get ready for New York. We got another East road trip coming up yep. uh, back to back week. So we got to get ready for that. Didn't have practice Monday, Tuesday, league wide rule. No one was to come into the facilities on Monday and Tuesday. How challenging is that for the week ahead? And what did you guys do instead to accommodate for not having actual practice on Mondays and Tuesday? Yeah, well, we still were able to watch film on Monday. Um, still were able to watch film from home. Um, made a lot of key corrections at home. Uh, and that's really all you could do at the time. You just got to take advantage of that. So what I what I would do, you know, I'm not allowed to go into the to the facility. So mm -hmm. make sure I'm, you know, making sure I'm getting my treatment in at home. Uh, make sure I'm doing my rehab at home and just making sure that I'm, I'm getting ready for for Wednesday practice. Tuesday, we already have off, so mm -hmm. uh, it makes it a little easier going into that Tuesday. It has been an interesting year by far. Kendall, we appreciate you joining us on the show, and good luck this weekend against the Jets. All right, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks so much.